Good evening. Time is ticking down to the end of the special election for the first congressional district, but efforts are ramping up to get voters to cast their ballots in this very close contest. KITV4's Paul Drews has the latest appeal to voters. We represent all of Hawaii. We have enormous support. Our message is resonating with the people of Hawaii. The special election race for Congress has more than just candidates talking. It's never good when it's always a shoe, when, it, when it's a shoe in, you know, then you don't have to vote, you know, and I, I, I think there's a, to have a little bit up in the air like this is good. Now some Democrats are making a final push to get voters to decide this election. For the first time, three former Democratic governors come together to speak out about this hotly contested race. Yesterday at the Republican convention, uh, we were referred to as the old guards, <laughs> and I'm a uh, proud to be referred to as one of the old guards. I think that the Democratic Party, which we represent, has been very good for Hawaii. Former Governor George Ariyoshi was joined by John Wahei and Ben Cayetano. They each back different candidates, but agree all Democratic candidates should get the chance to run. We allow everybody to express their views and to participate. And I wouldn't want to participate in anything that precluded any Democrat from running for any office. Some say those beliefs have divided the Democratic Party. I don't like what I think the outcome is going to be because it's divided the Democratic Party by all appearances. But these former governors say the Democratic Party will be united behind a single candidate come this fall. Are you going to see a united Democratic Party after the primary election? I'm not for anybody dropping out. I think that... In, in the tradition of the Democratic Party, they should run in the primary, and after that's over, unite, and then take care of the Republicans. 